Owner after homeowner stuck with mortgages worth more than their homes. I think it should work for you. And I think it's not the right thing to do. Should you pay or walk away? The statistics are definitely eye-opening. Half of all homeowners in Florida are upside down on their mortgages. Someone said it's like burning a pile of money each month. On the story tonight, the night team is Patrick Frazier. When Sandy saw this house, she was sold. I just couldn't stay away from the house. I had to have it. It was a dream come true when she moved in in 2005. Now move forward five years to her nightmare. How much did you pay? I paid three eleven. Three hundred and eleven thousand. Mm -hmm. What's the house worth today? How about one forty? Sandy tried to get her bank to work with her. When they refused, she let her house go into foreclosure. I'm here in mortgage purgatory, and there's nothing I can do about it. Charlie Cluck can afford to make the payments on his townhouse, but wonders if he should. I'm paying $435,000 for this house that's worth around three hundred or three and a quarter. I guess Charlie says he was raised to pay his debts and is willing to keep paying the mortgage if the bank would just lower his interest rate. They said no way. Yeah. The banks have not been fair about this refinance issue, and um, I see they're not real keen about having any loyalty anymore. So, yeah, I'm considering it. I'm considering walking on the mortgage. And Charlie is not alone. It's estimated that half the homeowners in South Florida owe more on their mortgage than their house is worth, in some cases twice as much. So now they have to decide, do I pay and stay or walk away? We have lawyers, we have doctors, we have engineers, people who have done everything right, and their American dream has become the American nightmare. Well, the Supreme Court. Roy Oppenheim is an attorney who helps people walk away from their mortgages legally. For example, through a short sale, which means the bank allows the house to be sold for less than the mortgage, or what's called a deed in lieu of foreclosure, which means the homeowner gives the house back to the bank and is allowed to walk away. The banks want a mortgage to be paid, but the banks also know that these mortgages are underwater, and so they need to work with the borrower. But we hear from so many homeowners who tell us the banks refuse to work with them. The bankers reply, you borrowed the money, you gave your word to repay it, now pay it. People that are simply walking away from their mortgage simply because the house is worth less than they owe, I think that's unethical, and I think it's not the right thing to do. Bankers believe the borrowers have an ethical obligation to repay the loan. Charlie says he has to think about another obligation. I also have an obligation to myself and my family, and um, that comes into play. Homeowners who've stopped paying their mortgages have found one big advantage free living because it can take a bank two years to foreclose and throw them out. During that time, people are living essentially rent free in their their homes and using that sort of implied savings to build up their liquidity balances. But the downside, a foreclosure devastates your credit. And if the bank gets a judgment against you, they can come after you for the money they lost on the loan. This is a judgment that is going to last for up to 20 years. It'll follow them from state to state. It will affect their bank accounts, their cars, their wages. That's why experts advise people who want to walk away to do it the right way. It's a decision that Charlie Cluck knows he'll have to make. Whether I'll do it or not, I don't know if I can pull the trigger. It still bothers me, but uh, certainly that's something I'm going to have to, to uh, decide here in the next few months. Sandy did walk away. Do you think it's worth it to keep trying to make the payments? No. It's never good. You're going to lose. Why, why, why are you going to pay for something that's not worth it? Sandy owed $310,000 on her mortgage. After Louis Valdeon bought it in foreclosure from the bank, he sold it back to her for $115,000. They sell it to me, and they will not work with her. It's the only part I don't understand why is that happening. I really don't understand. Sandy walked away and bought her home back at a much lower price. I'm very happy. But most people who have to decide to pay or walk away can't be sure what they're walking into. I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.